Hey guys, we're just gonna wait for a second while people show up. I might be a minute early. Ooh, we have one person. Welcome. <laughs> I might be just a second early, so we're just gonna wait for one little bit. All right. I can't tell what time it is, so I'm going to go ahead and start because we have about 10 minutes. Okay, you guys, so today we are going to do, with this holiday live series, we're going to do some crafting. And I thought it would be fun to do um, some little pom-poms, so these little yarn pom-poms. Um, but whenever we do pom-poms, you know they actually kind of take a while. So I'm going to show you the fast and easy way to make pom-poms. Okay, I'm going to move my phone back so you can see. There's my light. <laughs> okay. So, if you guys can kind of see my table, I can't really see it because of the comments. I'm so sorry. All right. So, to begin, I'm going to show you how to make a pom-pom that is with, um, this is, a, we're going to make a pom-pom loom. So I have a one by four piece of wood and on each side, if you can see, I've drilled a half inch piece, um, half inch hole right there, okay? And I have some half inch dowels. And I am going to glue them into the hole. So we are going to start with this glue. This stuff is awesome. It's um, Instacure and it, it is pretty much um, instant, if you will. So I'm going to fill the hole with the um, one glue first. And in order for it to work, it's like an epoxy. You have to um, spritz it with this the stay. And then I'm going to Go ahead and put in my dowel and fill it in there. All right, and we'll do the other side. I don't know if you can see that. I have filled that with glue and I'm going to spritz it with the um, InstaSet and I'm gonna put the dowel in there. And again, I have to pound it in. Can you guys hear me and everything, I hope? I did one once where no one could hear me and that was exciting. So, okay. So I'm gonna just wipe off any of the extra um, setting glue that might have come out. And close my glue up. All right, so you have a homemade, took about a minute pom-pom loom okay so um, the next step is you're going to start wrapping around the loom with your yarn and I want to show you a trick when you are um, grabbing your yarn I just grabbed this yarn at Walmart I do have some links in the description for some of the products we use like the glue which is awesome so um, when you, when you start yarn, a lot of times people will take the yarn that is wrapped on the outside of the yarn, but you don't wanna do that. Go ahead and find the end. It's usually tucked inside, pull it out, and then wrap it around and tuck it under the paper. You don't wanna use that one. You want to reach inside, like there's the center, and pull out the other end that starts in the center of the yarn. Is it called a skein? something like that. And um, that way it doesn't flip all around when you're unwinding the yarn. So to begin, we're going to tie a small knot on the loom that we just made, um, just to hold the yarn in place. You don't want to do it tight. I just did it tight and I didn't mean to, but so basically it's like that. I just pulled it off, but you just put it on there and you're going to start wrapping around both ends. I'm not sure you can see it, so let me kind of turn it sideways, okay? So um, start wrapping it around both ends. And I actually um, 
have another one of these looms because I obviously had to test this out. And I put a little bit of hot glue underneath the wood so that it didn't move a ton when you're wrapping it and that really helps. But okay, I'm sorry that I can't see any of your comments. Oh, it is a, a skein. Thank you, Joni. I just noticed that skein of yarn. Okay, so we're going to wrap and wrap. Now, depending on how thick you want it, um, you just wrap as much or how big you want them. The bigger the pom-poms that you make, the more you have to wrap. Um, so we probably will do some smaller ones so we don't have to waste so much time wrapping the yarn around. So when you're done, I'm going to go ahead and stop right here. You take kind of your last string and um, just cut the end and do the same little knot that you did at the beginning. So I'm gonna do just a little double knot. And you don't even have to cut off the end or worry about the knot because it'll kind of be hidden in the pom-pom. And I just take this end and I tuck it in. Okay, so we are going to do, my husband thought of this and it was so great because I was tying these with thread and it was killing my fingers. So we're gonna use zip ties. And this is seriously, the best thing you can do. It's so fast. So um, to begin on your um, loom that you've just created, maybe start about an inch from this side and you're going to zip tie it. Let me see if I can show you that. So see how that is zip tied really quick. So super fast. I'll do one more. So now you're going to take about the width of this and you're going to double that in between because you're going to have two sides of your pom-pom on this and you just repeat the process and I'm only going to just show you because I have another one um, till it kind of looks like that okay and then you just cut off the tails of your zip ties and through the magic of you know Facebook I'm going to show you really quick you start to cut between the two ties right in the center. Okay, I'm going to hold this up over here for a second. And I usually do half at a time so that I can keep my, my cuts nice and even. And that's going to how, um, that will be how it'll start your pom-pom. Okay, so, ta-da! I have another loom. I have it half cut. So I'm going to show you now at this point what you do to finish cutting the rest of the pom-pom. So um, basically, you just cut that off, right? And in the next little section, you go like that. Now, um, you can kind of see this isn't perfect, so I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim it to be you know, round. So you're going to have to kind of do that with each one and make sure that they're nice and cute. They're perfect little um, snowballs, if you will, for winter. So again, you just cut these off. And like I said, look at that. I mean, you can make them so fast. And this, if you were making these by hand, even tying them by hand, it can take a long time. So um, there you go. I've just made four pom-poms in about 20 seconds. So the other thing is on the very end, you'll have um, a looped one. So this one you just cut.